to Article 3, uh, proposal for the so-called culture and recreation portion of the Hampton Beach Village District budget, $864,213. Uh, questions, comments, what have you. Mr. Chairman? Yes. I'd like to make an opening statement. To sure. This. Thank you. You'll note in this budget a substantial dollar increase over last year. This was driven by factors with, over which we had absolutely no control. Toward the end of last summer, the beach was struck with an issue concerning Legionnaire's disease. Yes. We have a lot of anecdotal evidence that that had a very significant impact negatively on the beach. Right. The seafood festival attendance was dramatically off shortly after that event. The news media carried that event in a very unfavorable way toward us in the town. The precinct and other players at the beach have spent years building up the beach's brand. We do not know at this time to what extent that brand has been negatively impaired, but this budget is an attempt to rebuild whatever harm that uh, our occurrence caused to us, and you'll note in this budget the addition of additional activities and the expansion of other activities because of those reasons primarily. Thank you. Anybody else? Question to comment, question, Brian. Yeah, I, I have to say I, I'm so proud of this because I love, I, I'm a big PR guy and I, I think promoting anything that is going to be worthwhile. People love coming to Hampton Beach and you know I noticed they added uh, under advertisement PR and, and internet. Uh, the 172, and it, I assume that's in John's area. But I, the other thing I want to, without going into all individual things, what I like, and, and Commissioner Ladd uh, has stated at his meetings, because I watch them all, but I love hearing about the circus and the, the, the country week, which my daughter's, a, you have to remember, there's a lot of people that love that country week. They may not call you up, Maureen, but that's terrific, because it, it's going to work, believe me. And uh, movie night. Um, Maureen Buckley brought that to a whole nother level, and we tried it years ago. Actually, if I may, John, John Kane. Kane. John Kane too. That, well, John, I remember it. John carrying equipment out there. Right did, back. No, no, John did a lot more than that. Oh, I know he did. Yeah. Believe me, John. Yeah. I was with John many of those Monday nights. But um, you know, in the uh, the fire shows, it's it's nice to see um, you know some additional. Some nice new things, you know what I mean? And and your 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 meetings that you have are very educational because I was telling Bob that for someone who watches replays most of the time because I can't be there for work uh, because of work, it's nice to see the enthusiasm and the additional things that are coming at all the time, and that's a credit. Um, you know the idol uh, competition. Uh, it, do you believe, Maureen? Do you believe uh, it's going to be the fifteenth year? Two thousand and five. We sat there. I know. We started it in the old seashell, which was, uh, which was great. I, I am going to have a question on the bus transportation, but I'll let others talk first. Because other than that, I, I have no uh, qualms with any of it. And I will say the great. Uh, I mean, the breakdown of Steve. I assume you put this together because it's really well laid out. The income is well laid out, and it's it's worth it. Hey, uh, you know we're talking millions of people come to our beach, so all right. that's all I have to say on that. I'll, I'll wait for my last comment or question on the buses. Anybody else on the uh, Article Three? Yeah, I got a comment. Mr. Zanoy. Yeah, I, I too think there's a lot of creativity as exhibited here uh, in this culture and recreation budget, although it's up 30 percent from the three-year average. Yeah. Uh, to your point, Bob, I guess. Um, you know, I, I think that, you know, that, is it just Monday night that the movie is shown? Movie night. And what is it, a big screen on the beach? So, yeah. we, so the, I, I could go down with, if, if, if the chairman would want, I could go down with the seven or eight items that I that think you're going to question. Right. And that might answer everybody's That'd be question. Fine. Any objection from the body? No. Go no, ahead. that might what be good. Uh, Chuck, do it. I can, I'll start at the top. So our advertising, we, we've added a lot more. Uh, with internet, um, more Facebook, um, we're working with apps, we're doing a lot more in that level. We, um, last year we came, sh we came up short, at the end of the year when we really needed to push Hampton Beach because of the Legionnaires, we, we had overspent um, at the Country Week, which we didn't overspend, but the money that we might have used toward the end of the year we, we really pushed that week, and I think that I think if anybody went down there, they they saw the amount of people that were there. 
myself being uh, in, in the hotel business, I have people calling now because of last year's Country Week. So I'm just one of many, many hotels and many <laughs> cottages and businesses down there. So we added uh, almost 22000 to that budget just to help push more, more advertising in. We have added a different event, so we need to advertise those events. So that, that's where that money came in there. Next going down, uh, concert series. The bands want more money. It's, everything is, is going up. And um, it's been pretty tight for the past three years. We've been right around the same amount of money. This year, the bands are looking for more money. And um, it's getting harder and harder. So that went up there. 10%. Yeah. Um, payroll, <laughs> this, we, we really don't know. I, 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 we, we try to keep it at certain levels. If you see it was down in other years, uh, it's tough getting help. I mean, now, you know, back in the day, we were, we were given $8 an hour, and people were happy with that. We're not going to get anybody to sit around and work for $8 an hour. So that's gone up. That's where we're up. I'm 40%. hoping we have enough. So yeah. that, that's where that is. Um, I'm going to drop down to um, movie night. Movie night, we've been getting away with, with stuff. <laughs> you mean copyright um, violations? So the, the, um, movie night is the movie companies want their cut. Like Disney. Ah. So when we run a Amazing. Disney movie, we have to send them 300, 500, yeah. not, oh, yeah. 700, them. depending on what that movie is. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, so that brought that up. We also need a new screen. So well, we don't show anything. Hold on, Jerry. We, we let yeah. him do his presentation. Yeah. So I mean, let him do it. Let him do it, Jerry. So, so that's it. that. Um, Country Week. Country Week was a hit. We want to make it a bigger hit. Yeah. There, we had Michael Morgan. Something Michael Morgan. William. John Michael. John Michael Morgan. I'm William. sorry, I don't know. <laughs> and he <laughs> and, he was a he was a premier <laughs> group. People went crazy. Well, we want to have two or three premier groups that week. So uh, we're, we're, we're cutting back a little during the day, but we're boosting the, the uh, entertainment at night to see what we can, if we can pull something out of it. Seafood Festival, which is not our event, uh, was a dud the first, first year. Second year, a little better, and we all know what it's become. So uh, we're hoping Country Week will become something substantial. So that's why we're putting the extra money in that. And, and if I may, we also, instituted it that week because according to the businesses you can finish you can speak to yeah that. so That's that week area. so what happens is you have the big hype of fourth of july everybody comes down they want the fourth of july weekend or they might take the week but then all of a sudden if you notice the beach right after the weekend of the fourth the, the beach just takes a big dive for about four days this is what we're pushing in there we're hoping that there isn't any dive on those four days so that's that's where that that is um Next, we have the circus show, the circus night. I don't know if anybody saw the presentation. I um, saw that. The guy is called the Mooch, Michael Mooch, I believe. It sounds really good. Funny. And uh, they just come in and they're doing a whole amazing show. Um, so we're going to give that a whirl. We're going to give that a whirl toward the end of the summer. Uh, what was the date on Labor Day, Day weekend, weekend? I believe. Labor is Day it weekend? Yeah, Labor so Day. So Hampton yeah. Beach was always famous for their big Labor Day weekend celebration. They used to call it Carnival Week. Uh, Carnival Week was the thing for years, 50s, 60s, 70s. So now we're trying to bring back a, a, a Labor Day event. So that, that's where we're looking at that. Um, and then I, I, no one mentioned the bus last year, which, which uh, uh, we talked a lot about. We had it at the meeting. We have nothing lined up for a bus. We have been talking. I've talked to Coast. I've talked to... C and J. I've talked to Peter Pan. We've talked to private people. We have been trying to get some type of transportation for the people to and from the beach, getting to Newburyport, getting to town to go shopping at Hannaford, getting not just for not just for the people that are that are coming to the beach as tourists, but for people working at the beach, for people living at the beach. If I don't have that money in the budget, and someone comes along and says we can do three days a week. And we're looking for four thousand dollars. I have twenty-five. I can give them four thousand. If someone wants to come in and do a full service thing, we we can subsidize and see how that goes. So last year it was not voted down. Uh, it was in the budget. We talked about it. 
we put it in and we didn't use it. If you look, it wasn't used. Right. It was, and, and it, there's a lot of things that aren't used. When you talk about legal, we're back, going back to the other, it has to be there because we can't spend money we don't have. So um, some years, last few years, we've been doing a lot of work on the playground. Some years, um, I, you should see the amount of stuff that I have in, at the back of the hotel and stuff coming in. Uh, that needs to be put in once once the ground isn't like cement. Uh, <laughs> so um, we try not to spend it all. We try to we try to keep down as, as, as best we can. But we want to spend money on advertising and bringing people there and the shows and the entertainment. If we, you know if you if you if we had the same entertainment, which we have a lot of the same entertainment, uh, we could cut back that. But then it, people are going to get bored with that. So we mix it up as much as we can. So on that, I, I think those are the main points. There might be other things. Um, and then you can ask, ask any, any questions on those. Bill, sir? Yeah. Okay, Jerry, you still have the floor. Yeah, thank you. Yes, the, the, uh, the $20,000 for the circus night, is that one day, Chuck, or yes. just one day? It's one day. It's a huge, it's a huge is there amount. Is like a lot of people involved in that circus? I mean, uh, yeah. it's like a troop or what? Yes. Yes. It's acrobats. It's Where a are they coming everything. from? It's the Boston. It's the Boston Circus Guild. So if you look that up uh, online, you'll be able to see I would that. just interject. Hold on, Bob. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just going Jerry? No, I mean, uh, I, I think Chuck has answered, answered my question. It was, it's, it's one day. Okay. Are you all set? Yes, on that line item. Okay, great. I have other line items. Could um, I just make Bob? one comment sure. on that line item? This group did this show at the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. Yeah. This is first-rate stuff. If you want to get the quality, you have to pay for the quality. So, uh, what are they going to have? Jerry, they're going to have. Uh, well, Bob has the floor. Let let him fit. Are you done, Bob? Yeah. You want the floor? Go ahead, Jerry. So, does that mean? I mean, you're going to set up like trapezes, or what, how are they going to do the circus? Yeah, would, I, I would recommend you come and see it, Jerry. It's going to be spectacular. We're going to have trapeze I'll pick you up. We're going to have a 12 or 14 piece circus band come up a side street to the shell. This is well orchestrated, but we can't go too much further. We have to talk to the permit. We got a lot of setting up to do for this. Think. Well, actually, not as much as you would think. There's probably more complexity with the fire show, which is put on by the same group at a different time. Okay. Um, this circus thing, uh, you did a uh, or a video replay at one of your meetings about a year or two ago for that same thing, didn't you? No, that, that was, was for the fire show. Fire show. The that fire, fire show. show. So about three meetings ago, was it? Yeah, I think it was the December meeting. You December said? meeting, we had it. So I, you could probably look back into the December meeting online and see. Uh, yeah, I'm, I was just there. concerned about a year ago. You know, I, I, I copy your mm -hmm. videos. And uh, when I put that video up on YouTube, I was harangued by lawyers for copyright violations <laughs> because I was displaying your meeting, which contained copyrighted material oh. from that group. Hmm. So you may want to be aware of that. I ultimately fought to a successful conclusion, on, successful from my point of view. It's still up there. So, uh, but I had to fight it. <laughs> uh, and just so you're aware that you know these people are very copyright sensitive. And so if you have them in there and, and people are, are, are there enjoying their show, they start taking pictures or whatnot, and they may pull out a copyright uh, notice on them. So just just be aware of That's that. It's good to know. We'll talk to them. About um, anything else on the yeah. Article Three, I Jerry? Think, yeah. The fire show is that a one nighter? Or what is that? Yeah, that is um, the weekend after Seafood Festival. Ah. And there was probably about four four hundred fifty people watching it, which is a lot. And then uh, at the end of the season on the beach. This is year three, is it not? Is this, this year three this of the will fire be show? Third year. It has increased every year as well. No. Uh, what? Let's say 3,000. You think there was 3,000 on the Oh, absolutely. Yeah. People. Yeah. I uh, was working. Maureen, on this movie <laughs> night, I don't see anything spent in 16 or uh, 2016 or 17. Didn't we get started on movie night a few years ago? It was that? on. It was under other activities. Oh, other. Because it became so big, we, we put it out on so its own. Why don't right? we do more than just Monday no. nights? What? No, that's not right. The reason, Jerry, is that we have to pay a company oh. for every movie we show. Okay. And we only had to start doing that a couple of years ago. We didn't know. We had no, no, no idea. where it was before he's we, talking about. And the movie. The before movie it night. used to be under well, was, other activities. No, no. It's, it was. We didn't pay anything in 16 and 17. 
because we didn't know we were infringing. I would suggest we not go too far up that stairs. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why. That's why. That's why, Jerry. Okay. Yeah, I could, of course, this bus service jumps in 25,000. Just what do you perceive there, Chuck? Exactly what I said. I don't know. But I need to have it there in case something comes, comes forward. But do you have a bus? No. I've been dealing with bus companies trying to come up with something. It might be, it might be a $1,000 item. It might be a $25,000 item. But if it's not in the budget, we cannot make a deal for it. And it's come to uh, most of the people that I've talked to or that have gone to our meetings feel we have a need for some type of public transportation. Years ago, we used to have a trolley. It's kind of sad it's not there. Before that, there used to be the beach van or the be what is it called? The beach, the beach van, buggy, the beach buggy that used to do. There was <coughs> stuff for people to actually use to get from one end of the beach to the other, or to go to town. Or I would love to see something coming from uh, Newburyport, to, yeah. you know, so that because so they can take the buses in and out of Boston. Well, be that as it may, I guess. Um, no, I'm okay. not. Okay. Um, Good. Again, I, I like I like what you've done here. Uh, it's up thirty percent from over the three-year average, but so be it for Bob's input, if you will, and yours as well. Um, oh yes. If we overrun on one line item, can we, is it is it the bottom line? It's bottom line. So if this bus thing doesn't work out, you can grab the twenty-five thousand if you're overrunning on, over on something Absolutely. else. Absolutely. Right? Yep. Yeah. Now. Well, we can't take money from from general government. No, I understand. To culture, culture no, to you, general government. What? What's that? We can't take from one budget to the other. Right. You can take it amongst general culture. That's right. Okay. So you can do that's good. So um, the other thing is this: you want let's say that you have a surplus each year. What happens to it? We've uh, we put it back in. Goes Sir, back to the taxpayers. We put it back to the taxpayers. How, how do you do that? Every, you want me to answer that, Mr. Chair? Yeah. In the, in September, the town, the town of Hampton, the school district, and the village district, and everybody else in the state, okay. we have to we do a revised revenue right. in September, so that and file it with the DRA, so that the tax rate can be so set in yeah. October. Okay, gotcha. so that's how that money goes back gotcha. every year. The taxpayers' gotcha. money so goes forty thousand dollars. Okay, I just from last I didn't know if we had an undesignated fund somewhere. No, 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 no. Well, <laughs> no, there, Jerry. Yes, we do. We have we have money that we have to obviously we have to we have bills every month. So yeah, there's a checking account with money in it. But at the end of the year, the tax whatever we haven't spent, it goes back I, to I, the I, taxpayers. Okay. That um, I can guarantee you. Oh, I had another thought, but I can't. Uh, I can't think of it at the moment. So I'll have to relinquish the floor. All right, Brian. <coughs> I just had a, a question. I, I don't know if this is of the commissioners or the dollar line item for the Hampton Beach Area Commission. Uh, I question that because we're aren't you mixing a municipal agency budgeting for a state agency? We had, we had taken a vote at one point to uh, contribute to um, to to contribute equally to get uh, minutes. So that's why th this was in the first year. So that was before they had any money in, the, in that. So you're just so leaving that dollar just there. Just that dollar there. So this was for the minute. I think I remember that. Let me. Let me just make an observation from my experiences and in, in being in that area stuff. And I just want to ask you folks on the bus tram station again. You referenced we used to have a trolley, and I, we all know the gentleman used to own it, and one of the reasons he gave to me was the insurance was too high. And so my question is, and, and I'm, I'm just understand I'm not out at midnight, but what happens if this bus is down the beach and pulls up in front of a restaurant, and you, let's say your, your goal is to pick up the employees, but all of a sudden you got 30 people want to get on that bus and get off the beach. I, I'm just trying to help you out with some advice. I, I don't see, I don't see a plan for this 25,000. And, and I, you, you mentioned that it, it, you haven't found the bus yet. And so my, my question no, I, is, I, I think that's you. So my question is, why wouldn't you want to wait until we have, till you have a plan? I think it's a great idea. Anytime you can get transportation from 
uh, and we talked about the employees. I mean, I used to get parking for my state employees who were down there, worked with the town and you guys. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm still wondering what, what this is looking like because I, I just envision it could be more of an issue for you guys than you might think. And what is 25000 actually going to buy you? That's so, like I said before, there's a lot of bus agencies that are out there, C&J, Peter Pan, Coast, that Coast should be in Hampton Beach. They're, they're, they're a seacoast bus system that's right. funded by the, 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 uh, the state, I believe. All right? Now, a lot of the towns subsidize them so that they will come into their town. Mm -hmm. Hampton has never done that. So now Hampton does not have any bus service. Hampton Town. Right. So this gives us an opportunity, if we can work something out with them, that we could maybe get some type of bus service. Now, the gentleman that had the trolley took over the trolley from the Chamber of Commerce. Right. It was a lot of work for them. Um, but back then, they were looking at the trolley as a money-making operation. And I don't, and, and as, a, as a private owner, of course he wants to make money. You don't run a business without making money on it. What we're doing is we're enhancing Hampton Beach. It doesn't necessarily have to make money. If it broke even, we'd be very happy. Um, so by subsidizing a bus service, we're enhancing the businesses. We're enhancing as much as we can and making it a better place. Yeah. And, so I, I don't blame the, the trolley guy for closing because he wasn't making any money. No, but uh, and I understand that, but I, I'm just trying to help you out as far as, you know, when I had people driving state vehicles, they were under mandatory training, mandatory training prior to they got hired. Certain ages had to drive. I have to believe in this day and age, it, it, the idea can be the greatest thing around, but you've got to have established trainings. I can't believe a, a bus that you would rent or whatever for three months. I got to believe the insurance premiums would be off the charts. It's all I'm saying, you know, to throw a number of 25,000. I think the idea is unique and there's no question there'd be a possibly a place somewhere in, into doing that. I'm just not sure when I look at that, if there's not something, here we are in, in March almost, and there's not something, quote, in place, are you gonna, folks, get yourself in the situation? Let's say, let's use the other aspect. Let's say it works out and it, it's bigger than you thought, and then the cost gets something, at, something you weren't thinking of, and then you have to deal with more administration, more payroll costs, more hours. What are the hours? Well, if, if it was as easy as us going to lease a bus and running the bus, yep. we would have already done that. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So we're, I think we're smart enough to know that we're not in the bus business. There is people in the bus business yep. that we might be able to partner with. Yeah. That's, I, that's the only reason we have it there. Just, just my thoughts, but thank you. This is just annoying. Yeah, you know, I thought that I had, running on top of what Brian just said, is school buses in Idaho. And you could set up schedules where you could be in Newburyport three days a week or Portsmouth two days a week or whatever. Just post your schedules and try out a pilot run of, of sending these buses to these various areas and having them report back to the casino area or the main part of the beach uh, and see how it goes. And if, in fact, uh, you're not getting any uh, customers, then, uh, then the idea drops away. Or if you are, then, like Brian said, it may, it may begin to multiply. But again, we don't want to be, we don't want to be the bus driver, the bus token collector, and the mechanic. No, you would have a, you would have a contract set up. With, so that, with, that's, uh, so it would have to be the right, right person. Also, Terry. Yeah, one more comment. This, this, uh, this part of the budget, the culture and rec, that's primarily paid for by the businesses and the people that claim non-exempt in terms of their residents. And they buy into everything that's happening down there in terms of entertainment and so on. Right. Is that right? Yes, and there is a lot of people that don't go for the exemption because they want to the, contribute. The only one Hold last on, okay. on, Brian. Mr. Branch. I just want to mention that um, Jerry, you asked, you said something about a bus going to Newburyport. Yeah. The truth is, there is a bus. It's called the Massachusetts uh, MTA, Massachusetts Transportation. Mm -hmm. Merrimack Valley. Merrimack, Merrimack Valley, 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 something. It goes right. from Lawrence to Salisbury. Right, but it stops, in, it stops in Newburyport. It goes all the way from Lawrence, Haverhill. Yeah. It makes stops along the way, but one of them is in Newburyport, and then Seabro uh, Salisbury. Salisbury. Every day. And, the, and the, 
it drops a whole bunch of people off because I've, I see the bus. They pick them all up around 3.30, 4 o'clock. The bus arrives and a whole bunch of people get in it and they go back to wherever, Lawrence and Haverhill and Newburyport. So there is something. Maybe we just need an interim way to get them from Seabrook up to our place. Well, we're so lucky that Massachusetts has all kinds of money <laughs> and that they, they subsidize all these, you know, things that allow the people, in, you know, to come to our beach. We're very lucky. We're very lucky. Now, did I hear that those buses are not going to Hampton? Yeah, they come to Hampton. Massachusetts buses do Massachusetts. Yeah. They oh, stop it involved. right in front Swan of where the seat. I just wanted to get clear on that. And, and it, is a, it is a bone of contention for a lot of them in Mass that they come right. into New Hampshire, as well as they go to Salem, New Hampshire, as well. Mm -hmm. So they're getting federal money, and that, that, that area that they're covering, is they're allowed to cover us. So they all stop at Seabrook. They do come to Hampton? Yes, that one come comes to Hampton, but it's Hampton not Beach. a bus. It's not a bus that that would work for... The beach. The beach. It's, it works for people coming from Lawrence and Haverhill. And, but at some point, maybe we can work something with them. So that's something to think about. Just a point of clarity, it does not stop in Seabrook, it stops in Salisbury. Oh. Salisbury. And ah. comes to Hampton from mm -hmm. Salisbury. Thank you, yeah. Brian. I just had one, maybe this will close it out, but, and I think everyone in this audience would agree with this. You know, you mentioned like, we don't want to be this to whatever, or you don't want to change the, the oil or something you just mentioned, which I understand. But remember, you have seven state agencies on Hampton Beach. And when I was running state parks at Hampton Beach, it didn't matter whether I was state parks. We had questions that had to do with the town, John knows that, with the marina, with the harbors, with DOT. Be careful what you're asking for because you've got to think of your partners that work with you, including the town of Hampton, that are going to be bombarded. If they see a bus with questions, who do I call? This, you know, what time? I think there's a bigger discussion. It's just my recommendation that needs to be had on something that the minute people see a bus, are they going to get picked up? They're going to stop John. They're going to stop Rich Renee. It doesn't matter what agency it is. Think about that part of it, because that's what happens in the seacoast and throughout the state now in tourism. The people want an answer. They don't necessarily understand the vehicle, how to get there. So that's, I just wanted to put that out there. Anybody else? I heard that you wanted to spend more money in branding last year, but you ran out. I think you said that, Bob, is that right? No, I said we wanted to spend more money this year on branding because of what happened yeah. last year. Okay, so you did not have insufficient funds last year. Well, Chuck said it was Well, we correct. spent, we spent okay. the majority of our funds in, in the right like categories. There was money left over that we put back in. A little bit about money. Yeah, 40 grand, 40 which grand. far exceeds the 25 you've got slotted for this bus, or bus service. 25 of the 40 was the bus. Yeah, so 25, right. 25 <laughs> of the 40. Right. right, so that surplus could be reduced if you didn't have the bus in there, and you'd still have a surplus of 15, right? Yeah. Right. So the inclusion of, of the $25,000 line item seems uh, superfluous, on, superfluous on that basis. Your argument was that you need to have the money in order to spend it, and given the existence of that surplus, you would have the money. Well, we don't, we don't always know we're going to have the surplus. And in any case, you'd be doing a contract, I assume, for you know a year in advance or something like that. Anyway, uh, so you know that's that's how I'm hearing this discussion on that topic. Uh, furthermore, I see that Jerry and Brian and others have raised a number of issues mm -hmm. relative to bus service. I think there are a number of other issues that haven't been discussed, which I won't want to go into, but I think that's a very problematic area for you. And I'll just leave it at that. Okay. Um, because I'm a nice guy. Uh, <laughs> right, Maureen? Absolutely. There you go. So, uh, Peach. <laughs> Peach. Yeah. Uh, Georgia Peach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm absent hugs and kisses because it's now can oh, sect. No, no right. don't go there. Good God. Okay. <laughs> Good God. Let's go. Let's go. Please. So, <laughs> Kim. They, yes, Mr. Steven. Kim. You said 40,000. I think we should clarify and be sure that we get the uh, numbers right. Culture and Recreation was budgeted 762,207. They spent 732,651. It's less than $30,000. Right. It was left over, not 40. 
I heard 40 from somebody. No, no, well, no, 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 no I see it's seven, Let's go to the numbers, yeah. okay? Yeah, the numbers, numbers are. So thank you for the correction. It's less almost $30,000. Right. Less than okay. 30. Okay. Yeah, All right. The, the statement I made still holds water. Um, thank you for the correction, Stephen. So we have a number. What was the difference between the two budgets? The two. The two I understand. Budgets, right. I understand. Um, so we have a number brought forth by the Hampton Beach Village District of eight hundred sixty-four thousand two hundred thirteen dollars. Does anyone wish to use to move that number or move a different number? I'll make a motion to move the number. I'll second. And okay, so there we go. Any questions, comments on the motion? And seeing none, all those in favor, please indicate. Thank you. It is unanimous. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming in and helping yes. us with the budget. We have to have the public hearing, so. Yes, I know. Oh, okay. I just signed it. Thank you. Uh, yeah, now, the, um, uh, do they have to be here for the public hearing, or no? I don't think anyone, Unless there's except no the members have to be here. But in any case, we will now so. proceed with the public hearing on have Article have 2, have which have is a budget so for $66,000. $180, and the public hearing is now open at 8.06 p.m. Anybody wishing to speak uh, from the public? Seeing none, I will close the public hearing at 8.06 p.m. and now open the public hearing for Article 3 for a total of $864,213. Does anyone wish to speak from the public on Article 3? Seeing none, I will now close the public hearing at 8.06 p.m. Uh, we're all set on, on your budget. Thank you very much for coming in and helping us. Thank you. Thank you.